I'm Chris Ampadu from Ghana, and I work in 13 countries across West Africa. One of the biggest problems we have in our part of the world is um, fatalism. And fatalism has come about because of the animistic worldview, whereby we think we are not in control of our world. Samaritan strategy is working to bring biblical worldview to the minds of people, teaching them that Christ, even in the Great Commission, says all power in heaven, on earth, under the earth, have been given to him. Now, many fatalistic uh, communities now have started transformational projects. And these projects are just small-scale ministry projects that do not need outside resources. They look at the brokenness that they have, the trash and and filth that has engulfed our communities. They look at the, the, the fact that people, even though are so resourced, but because they don't have money in their pocket, they think they have nothing. Now people are rising up and then looking at themselves. What can we do? What or and how can we be God's instruments of blessing? So what can we do to demonstrate God's love? And I think even among Muslim communities where we have taught in collaboration with messieships, the impact has been huge because even though they don't know Christ, they want to obey him. And their obedience comes as they mobilize themselves with the Christians and then try to work on very simple uh, community projects like uh, uh, reconstructing their, their, their roads, uh, cleaning their communities, uh, weeding the, the, and cleaning their communities, and then also even constructing bridges in small, uh, 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 small rivers for themselves. And it's amazing how even God is glorified because here Muslims working together with Christians and then bringing about development in their own communities. It's amazing. And people see them, their brothers and sisters, not as Christians and Muslims, but people created in the image of God. We can live together. We can work together. We can take our destiny into our own hands. I think that is the hope. When people come from their fatalistic mindset and say, no, we are not hopeless. We can do it. We don't need to wait. I believe this is the joy that people are at the verge of prosperity and success. And I'm very much happy to be involved in this kind of ministry. Thank you, and God bless.